This is what our police department typically carries, and New Haven um, carries these here. This is one of them that was used last night on our um, shooting victims. New Haven's police chief praised officers for their quick thinking following last night's shooting. The tourniquet they applied likely saved Captain Duff's life, as Roger was just talking about. Now Channel 3's Carolina Cruz reports the officers recently started carrying those tourniquets in their holster. Depending on the wound, it only takes minutes to bleed out. So you want to get these tourniquets and devices on as soon as possible. Yale New Haven Hospital is behind the push to stop the bleed by equipping police departments with these. From the New Haven Police Department, I know of nine incidents that, uh, that they've used them. It took less than 20 seconds. It's simple, quick, and makes a difference for doctors when minutes matter. I'm in much better condition, not actively bleeding, so that we can get them to the operating room as soon as possible. Wrap the tourniquet around the injured limb. You want to go above the wound at least like two inches. Get rid of excess slack. Make sure that it is tight as could be. Twist the rod until the pressure forms an hourglass shape, then jot down the time. Because you don't want these on for longer than two hours. You can self-apply the tourniquet too. If the bleeding doesn't stop, add more pressure. And put it above that one. I'm not taking this one off, just adding another one to it. These have proven invaluable for gunshot victims during car accidents, stabbings, and other forms of injury. In today's world, we need to be prepared. Um, that we don't know when these terrible incidents can occur um, and that if we're able to help out the people at the time as soon as possible when these occur, that that's the best chance for them to survive um, their injuries. The goal is to train more than first responders. Doctors want babysitters, coaches and you to know how to use this to help save lives. In New Haven, Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.